Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. I just want to break down some of the facts with y'all. I got more music reviews coming, but I just want to break down some of the facts with y'all because I'm a... I'm going to also be doing a review to Ab Soul's new song that he released today called All That, but I just want to let y'all know some of the facts. I want, I want to, like, break down some of the facts with y'all about West Coast Route. I just want to break it down with y'all. Now, when it comes down to the West Coast, you don't really hear too many people talking about mumble rappers from the West Coast. Yeah, I mean, some of the facts about West Coast rap, there's a bunch of talent when it comes down to West Coast hip-hop. You got a lot of talent. You got Kendrick Lamar. You got Ab Soul. You got the legendary Dr. Dre Snoop Dogg. You got Ice Cube. You know what I mean? You got um, you got uh, Nipsey Hussle, God Rest His Soul, R.I.P. You got YG. Even when, with the independent artists, you got Hobson. I mean, Hobson, yeah, people are not going to, like, mention Hobson because Hobson, he's an independent artist. They say that Hobson is corny, but when it comes down to West Coast rap, Hobson, I feel that Hobson's name should be, mentioned, should be mentioned. I mean, Hobson, he from Panorama City, and you got uh, Tyler, the creator. When it comes down to West Coast rap, there's a bunch of talent. When it comes down to West Coast hip-hop, mumble rap is, is not even really a thing. There's a bunch of talent when it comes down to the West Coast rap scene. A lot of the artists take their craftsmanship seriously. A lot of artists are like masters of their craft, and a lot of the artists, they have a story to tell. Because when it comes down to the West Coast... It doesn't make a difference if they come from Compton. It doesn't make a difference if they come from South Central L.A. It doesn't make a difference if they come from Los Angeles, Panorama City. It doesn't make a difference if they come from San Diego or, yeah, like Carson. They got a story to tell. A sp you know what I mean? Like... You know, I mean, they, they they really do got a story to tell because that, that West Coast lifestyle, especially, you know, I mean, when it comes down to them coming from the streets of Compton, they definitely got a story to tell Kendrick Lamar. Oh, yeah. There's another artist too, West Side Boogie, West Side Boogie, which he signed to Eminem. West Side Boogie is signed to Shady Records with Eminem, like... Yeah, West Side Boogie, he's another West Coast artist. He from the same city that Kendrick Lamar is from, Compton. But yeah, you know what I mean? A lot of the artists from the West Coast, they definitely got a story to tell. And when it comes down to like a lot of the rappers in the West Coast growing up, they looked up to the Snoop Dogs. They looked up to the Dr. Dre's. They looked up to the Ice Cubes. They looked up to all of those legends. They definitely show respect to the OGs that came before them. They they looked up to the NWAs. Oh, yeah, and also the game. Yeah, the game. Now, I know when it comes down to the game, a lot of people may not give the game much respect, but the game is a part of that West Coast rap movement, too. Like, there's a bunch of talent, a bunch of, like, talent, a bunch of, like, artists that can spit that come from the west coast but yeah see with, with ice cube dropping a new song today and with ab soul dropping some new stuff it really just made it really just gave me the inspiration to break down some of the facts about west coast rap because both of them both ab soul and ice cube they both like bringing that west coast swag in their music but yeah that i just wanted to break down some more of the facts with y'all about west coast rap don't forget like subscribe hit the notification bell on my channel comment share like the video love y'all